Hi, I'm Grace Samzow, and the title of my presentation is Corporate Sustainability, Unlocking the Potential of Carbon Offsets to Help Businesses Reach Carbon Neutrality. My work is important because currently we are seeing an increasing consumer demand for sustainable business due to the combination of rising CO2 levels and a lack of corporate accountability for environmental impact. In general, companies can work to lower their emissions internally by switching to more energy efficient processes or trying to use on-site renewable energy systems. But these strategies are only beneficial up to a certain extent. Um, carbon offset programs offer a possible solution by allowing companies to purchase carbon credits in order to offset any remaining environmental footprint they may have um, by paying to support projects that reduce carbon somewhere in the world. In doing so, businesses can reach a state of net zero carbon emissions, otherwise known as carbon neutrality. However, these offset programs, along with the voluntary carbon market in general, are still very new. So there's a lot of uncertainty and inconsistencies with program criteria used to compare programs and the actual benefits that companies receive from purchasing carbon credits. As a result, I interned with a local coffee supplier in the greater Seattle area called Puget Sound Beverage or PSB, who was interested in lowering their company's footprint and hopefully reaching carbon neutrality eventually. To answer my research question, I sought to understand what information and motivations were needed in order to foster client participation in a carbon offset program. In the case of Puget Sound Beverage, the company was specifically interested in offering an offset fee for interested customers to add on to their regular delivery orders. This way, customers could pay to mitigate their delivery emissions that resulted from PSB service, not only taking responsibility for their emissions, but also assisting PSB in lowering their environmental footprint. During my internship, I first researched current businesses and how they were using carbon offsets, aiming to understand the voluntary carbon market and types of offset programs that were available. I compiled a list of 17 highly ranked programs and identified key criteria used to distinguish programs and their projects. I then conducted interviews with PSB clients to further recognize preferences among the offset projects themselves. My results indicated that other than low cost, interviewed PSB clients felt most strongly about having local third-party verified projects based in the Pacific Northwest focused on energy efficiency or forestry, which makes sense considering we live in Seattle. This client information, in addition to research collected during my literature review, allowed me to recommend highly scoring programs specifically to PSB. And more broadly, with the case study results of my internship, I was able to develop a framework that outlines the recommended process for companies to select and utilize a carbon offset program, which you can see in the middle section of my poster. For most businesses, this would act as a preliminary and standardizing framework to guide decision making which I've broken up into a three-step process that can be applied to a greater number of companies. The first step of this framework is to achieve complete understanding of available offset programs. This allows companies to distinguish between various offset criteria, protocols, and certification standards, ensuring that all programs being considered are verifiable and credible. The second step is to identify business goals and values that allow a company to narrow down the choice of programs to those that also meet specific company needs providing a clear sense of what needs to be achieved and ensuring long-term buy-in from clients in addition to maximum social, environmental, and economic impact. The third step is to identify client interests and preferences, which improves chances of participation by providing program options that match customer interests. This also decreases company costs related to carbon neutrality by sharing at least a portion of the cost with clients and increases community participation in environmental initiatives. While participation in an offset program allows companies to increase their corporate sustainability, there are numerous external environmental and social benefits that they offer as well, which I have organized into a visual diagram on the right side of my poster under significance. These include immediate benefits such as greenhouse gas emission reductions, community benefits such as reduction of local air pollution, expanded participation in emission reduction initiatives and environmental efforts, and increased trust in environmental benefits acquired from offsetting practices. 
Participation also improves public perception by demonstrating sustainable action in the community, strengthening customer relationships and incentivizes new ones by forcing collaboration and joint environmental initiatives. Participation even helps companies gain a better understanding of their supply chain and recognize areas of their company that could be more efficient or less wasteful. As a closing thought, I also wanted to recognize that while carbon offsets do have the ability to make a positive impact, due to their nature, there is potential for them to be misused by corporations that do not want to lower their internal carbon emitting processes or production. In that regard, offsets should only be utilized after all other sustainable actions have been taken to decrease a company's own footprint. And with that, I want to acknowledge my faculty advisor, um, Alexa Schreier, for the constant guidance throughout my capstone, my site supervisor from Puget Sound Beverage, Neil O'Brien, um, my friends and family for support, and all the interview respondents for their time and insight. Thank you again. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, contact me at my Twitter handle, which is at Grace Thank you again. I hope you have a great rest of your day.